you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, sorry. Uh, I hope you can't hear the too much traffic noise. I live on a bit of a busy road. So yesterday, as you'll see from the following footage, I ventured out with my friend Lee, Lee Ballard, to do a bit of a test. I recently bought this, which is the new Sigma 50mm art lens. Yes, I know it's not new, but I was replacing one of my lenses, which was the Nifty 50 from Canon, and this was one that caught my eye. So for the test, we both took a Canon 7D, and he had the Canon 50mm f1.4 lens. So I thought, why not do a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison? We ventured out into a local park, Across the road called Woodthorpe Park where they've got beautiful flowers, manor house, well normally in summer but obviously it's uh, still winter. <laughs> I haven't seen his images yet he's going to uh, send them over to me but looking at the back of the camera I was actually quite surprised. Again I'll do a full review at the end of this when I've actually sat down and looked at the images on the computer there didn't seem to be that much of a difference or at least not on like f1.4 f2.8 but when we were getting up to 5.6 and above the sigma was a head and shoulders above it again the canon lens is a few years old now i'm uh, out with my friend lee we're going out to uh, test well i'm going out to test my new lens which is the uh, sigma 50 mm art lens lee has got the uh, canon version the 1.4 so we're going to go and have a play and see what it's like it's a bit wet and dull and the weather's a bit pants but see what we can make of it and uh, yeah it's a bit windy so uh, I apologize now for the wind noise to do a test between his Canon 1.4 and uh, this new Sigma 1.4 so we'll probably take some images and uh, I'll probably put those up and we can see what we get so yeah we'll have a wander around the park Oh, you were doing that bit of bark. <laughs> well, it's near enough. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, retake. <laughs> Edit two. <laughs> Dead centre of that clump. How to be a YouTuber. It does, um, I notice it does hunt quite a bit. Yeah. So I guess the idea of this uh, shoot at the moment is to see how the lenses compare. I know that the um, the Canon lens is um, a couple of years old now, well quite a few years yeah, old Yeah, a few years old. I mean I've had mine about five years. <laughs> wow. So. And uh, the Sigma lens I guess has been out probably a couple of years now couple at least. Now, yeah. I think it was one but, of the early art lenses, wasn't it? Yeah, but it's new to me so I thought I'd come out and test it because I've, uh, well, until Lee turned up it was still shiny in its wrapper in the box in, <laughs> in the nice and warm having a cup of tea. <laughs> I made him bring it out. Yeah. I spent the morning out in the rain with my camera. No, no, it's <laughs> going to be a shelf queen in the box all its life and now he's made me bring it out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're just heading uh, up to, well, I guess the kind of like gardens, what there is left of uh, that in this uh, time of year. Yeah. Everything's a bit green and dead and oh, brown. Red berries, and red berries. Oh, some <laughs> red berries apparently. So yeah, we're gonna uh, do some more testing and uh, then we'll put the pictures up. So we just found a tree with lots of uh, sparkly things. And so we're trying it at different apertures to uh, see how the lens renders if we uh, get any chromatic aberration um, but yeah so we've just shot at f2.8 now I think uh, we should try it at 1.4 do you reckon? Yeah, cool let's have a go at 1.4 <laughs>
So my first observation with this lens at the moment is uh, I can't really hold it at use uh, <laughs> yeah user error. I can't really hold it at uh, low shutter speeds. I'm getting a lot of camera shake, so it's probably be good for um, distant scenes or maybe something different. But trying to do close-up work, uh, bushes and flowers and stuff. Um, anything sh slower than like 200th of a second and I'm shaking all over the place. I don't know whether that's just me because of the gym or what, but uh, yeah, having a bit of uh, difficulty, so um, I'll try and find another location. Again, this is uh, Woodthorpe Manor on uh, Woodthorpe Park. It's a beautiful place. I'll show you some of the uh, behind the scenes. So uh, I think we're just going to head down to the play park. I'm going to have a go on the swings. <laughs> Lee can just play with the camera. I'm going to have a go on the swings. <laughs> So uh, Lee's just invented a, a new 360 degree camera. Yeah, compact and lightweight. <laughs> Right, so what's the next plan? What we're we gonna shoot now. That's <laughs> quite nice, they're colourful. Yeah, that's like um, all the swing line. Cool. That's got the uh, emojis. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. like we'll some... kids in the playground. <laughs> 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 but yeah, unfortunately the bloody blog flats, but uh, whatever. So we're back at the house now, got the uh, cameras both on tripod, so we're going to take some more stable shots, So, because uh, I was finding, for me, the issue was uh, hand holding, um, a bit shaky, <laughs> so at least on the tripod we're going to get pretty reasonable consistent results, um, we're going to use the same settings and uh, yeah, see what we get, and uh, again I'll show the footage so you can see.
So, uh, not very scientific test, but uh, <laughs> we used the tripods and we focused in on this part on the trailer. A um, bit of text, so I'll show these images and uh, see what results we get. But, yeah, I don't know about you, I was quite surprised. Yeah, um, I, I, I've been surprised by the final results. Yeah. Is your um, really, really in your conclusion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so uh, I'll probably look at the images and then do my final thoughts on the computer, on the talking head bit but uh, yeah um, more of a strange um, result than I thought there was so yeah. <laughs> anyway thanks for that Lee we no, no, uh, no we should do some really more uh, collaborations oh, it's interesting well it's interesting to uh, get out and shoot even though <laughs> the weather's a bit pants but uh, yeah, oh well <laughs> Yeah, so yesterday we were shooting with the Canon 7Ds, which is a crop sensor camera. So today I thought I'd come out into my garden and do another test with the Canon 6D full frame camera and the Canon 7D. I know that one is a crop sensor and one is a full frame, so the focal distance is going to be slightly different. But I thought I would shoot them side by side, taking, putting them on the same tripod, taking the same shot and see if there is any physical difference. Um, with a crop sensor. So for this test, I've also brought another friend in today to help me on this collaboration. I'm hoping that uh, he'll let me take his portrait. So I want to introduce you to Mr. Yoda. <laughs> so hopefully Mr. Yoda will let me take his portrait and uh, yeah, we'll see the images. So I've come out to a place called Irwood Hall. I'm just uh, wandering up to the hall now. Uh, I thought about bringing out my uh, Pentax 67, but because this review that I'm doing is uh, with the Sigma 50mm lens, obviously I brought that to uh, do some more testing because I've only tested it for two days, so bring it out again for a third day. But uh, Loving some of these trees. Some of these old trees are really cool. And this lake is beautiful. So we're gonna see the ruins of Old Hall.
the Sigma 50mm art lens. I'm uh, a little surprised to be honest. I expected more. Um, from what people were saying, this lens is supposed to be a really sharp lens. I tested it with my friend Lee with his Canon 50mm lens and to be honest the shots are quite comparable. The only things that I did find which I thought was quite strange was that in the higher apertures where you were shooting at 5.6 to f11 there was a bit of a noticeable difference with the Sigma being um, sharper but down at 1.4 2.8 there really wasn't that much in it. The other thing that I found was the Sigma lens showed less chromatic aberration so there wasn't so much purple and uh, green fringing on the images. Again you see in the footage I ventured out with my friend Joe when I took the Sigma lens. To be honest I think it's a bit of a specialist lens because the 50mm focal length is very restrictive especially where we were so I probably would have been better with the 2470 but saying that it was great to do close-ups of the mosses and um, branches of the trees and some of the rocks and things so for that reason it was quite a good lens. So today what I decided to do was I just wanted to see what it was like against the Canon 24-70 Mark II. Yeah looking on screen the 24-70 is actually sharper which again is really strange. Again this is only uh, four days with the Sigma so I've still got a lot of shooting to do. One thing I did find was again because probably I don't use the camera so much shooting on the 7D um, I, I really struggled with uh, hand holding at low shutter speeds. On the 6D which is a camera that I'm more familiar with and I shoot more often it was a lot easier so I felt a bit more comfortable. It was great to go out and challenge yourself with one lens but if I was to go out on a day shooting, I would probably just take the 2470, maybe keep the Sigma 50mm in my bag to do, like I said, close ups on uh, branches and leaves and stuff, because 1.4, you can get some really nice effects. It would be great to get out and test this as a portrait lens, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a model in and test it as a portrait lens, see where we go from there. So, yeah, this is just a first impressions see what the lens is like. I know this lens is a couple of years old now but uh, yeah for me it's a new lens. I got rid of my nifty 50. It's not all singing or dancing what I thought people were gonna what people say it was like and I'm not 100% sure whether this doesn't need actually calibrating because some of the images it is slightly front focusing so I don't know whether it's better to invest in the dock give it a bit of a calibration and then yeah more testing more playing to do as regards to today's test have a look at the images and yeah to be honest I think the 2470 Canon lens is actually uh, sharper with less chromatic aberration but yeah you let me know your experiences hope you enjoyed the content and uh, plenty more to come thanks again for watching see you soon